Well, welcome back. Well, we created, and now it belongs to the rest of the world, the Obama administration about to hand over control of the Internet to the global community, giving up the oversight that manages technical functions and website addresses, like when you buy a web domain. So what does this mean for Americans surfing the web? We're continuing our discussion this morning with Governor Mike Huckabee on this very issue. Let me play the other side of this, Governor. I isn't this a good thing? We want to get the government away from having any hand in our website development buying structure at all. Look what the NSA did to weaken encryption data for um, American security, diving into our personal data. Don't we want government away from our, our Internet? You know, that sounds uh, very plausible, but I mean, why don't we go ahead and give away the recipe for Oreos? I mean, there, there ought to be something about the fact that the United States, primarily its military, developed uh, you know, the whole concept of the Internet. And what I fear is that when it goes into this sort of global mishmash, who really then has uh, any ability to control? Who has any ability to monitor? Uh, I do have fears because of what the NSA has done. I mean, I think we all are shocked by the abuse of power. But I'm not sure that the answer to that is to say, let's give it to some but, uh, nebulous global world here that includes uh, the Russians and uh, the Chinese. God knows who, the Chinese. Well, that's, and they've asked in the past. Exactly. And it's only because the Obama administration has really alienated the rest of the world. Yeah. yeah. The opposite of what they promised to do uh, that we're under all this pressure to give it up. But hasn't the last week watching the Malaysians mishandle this investigation reminded you that whatever our faults, we're still the most competent, honest country on Earth by a wide margin. So why would we give up control of something as vital as the Internet? Yeah, why don't we just clean up the kitchen rather than to uh, abandon it? And I think that's kind of what I'm seeing with the Internet. It's almost as if rather than admit that we've made some stupid and even some unconstitutional mistakes in invasion of privacy, let's clean up our act, but let's not give away the, the, the whole process. Should well, Let's dive a little bit more deeply in this, because this is an outside government contractor is what we're yeah, talking ICANN. about. Yeah, ICANN. ICANN, which is the government would give up control of ICANN. Again, third party, a government contracted agency. So if that's the case, then should we create another agency that actually is more, has more teeth than an outside government contractor, put it inside the government, really take control of the internet? You know, in a perfect world, there would be congressional oversight and it would actually mean something and there would be accountability mm -hmm. and there would be uh, reportability. I mean, there would be a, a clear understanding of, of who is managing it day by day and we would have, uh, again, accountability for the people involved. I think what all of us worry about is that there is no accountability in any department of government right now, whether it's the IRS, whether it's the NSA, uh, the Justice Department. Saw that with the CIA. Uh, and so people are sort of probably saying, well, this doesn't matter. But it does matter in the long term because the Internet is really the, the glue that holds the world together today, more than any other structure. If you think about it, more than even bridges and, and roads, the Internet is is how commerce is essentially carried on across the globe. So to clear this up for some of our viewers, I mean, what is this going to look like for Americans on, on the Internet five years from now, ten years from now? Because this is going to happen, what, in, in 2015 when the contract's right. up, right? Yeah, I mean, I, wor I worry about censorship, to, to go off of what Anna's asking here, this idea that the government right now could be limiting or further limiting what we surf and what we have access to, like China. I mean, yeah. it, that's what I worry about here. Well, look, I, I'm an old-fashioned guy that believes in American sovereignty. I think that we don't give up anything in this country. We, we hang on to what we have. We're a sovereign country. People want to use our ideas? Fine. We'll, we'll share them. But we're going to own them because if we develop it, then it's ours. And if you, you know, want to uh, accept that, fine. If you don't, then develop your own Internet exactly. and spend the resources to do it. Yeah. Our tax dollars help design this right and so you know the fact that we're just going to act like a, oh well you know uh, any, anybody can have a piece of it yeah. I'm sorry I don't buy that Dig and your I don't own a lot Panama of Canal there I you agree go completely and then there Al Gore go. and then Al Gore built it yeah. uh, governor what's coming Thanks, up on your governor. show tonight real fast well we're going to do uh, some updates on the airplane story we also have major Rusty Bradley who's probably one of the greatest experts on what's going on in Afghanistan he'll be there to talk about it as well and so uh, we hope folks will watch at eight o'clock Eastern we right will. here on the Fox News channel Thanks, guys.